Okay, here's an example of me trying to expand my palate. I came across this recipe, uh, Perfect Instant Ramen, by uh, adapted from Roy Choi. Roy Choi is, I guess, a Korean-American version of Guy Fieri, um, in that um, they're both successful, very successful chefs, very successful restaurateurs. They both have that Cali vibe, and um, each has at least $10,000 in body art. But anyway, I was intrigued by it because I was absolutely disgusted by it. Uh, it's ramen noodles with an egg that you just dump in there, butter, American cheese, uh, sesame seeds, and scallions. But, you know, he talks about in the article that this came from, about how ramen is, has an emotional connection. I mean, it's, it's sort of Korean um, comfort food, I guess. It's, you know, you come home from school and this is what he and his friends would eat. Um, I'm not Korean, but ramen does have an emotional connection with me as well. I mean, ramen is what you eat when you um, are kind of on your own for the first time. You're an adult. Uh, you're you're uh, away from your parents, and you're saving for something, and you just don't have any money, so you eat ramen. Um, so, here goes. Um, ramen, of course, everybody knows is dirt cheap. It's ready, readily available. I did go scouring a little bit for a vegetarian um, base because normally they, the little packet is either uh, beef or chicken or pork, and I had to look around for one that was vegetarian. Anyway, also, um, yeah, 79 cents, probably cheaper if you buy it in a huge packet. Kind of a calorie bomb. Um, three, three servings for this little guy, 150 each, plus the egg, plus some butter, eh, I broke it in half. Uh, boiled the water for three minutes in the microwave, of course and then cooked it for, I guess, I don't know, another three minutes or something like that. Now, here we go with this weird, weird thing. Okay, so you got all this hot water in there. You got your, your seasoning packet. I didn't put the whole packet in there. And then what you're supposed to do is just um, kind of fold the hot noodles and the hot broth over the egg so it cooks. Do not stir. Hold the noodles over the egg and let's sit for one minute to poach. Okay. Well, while I'm waiting for that to poach, I did want to tell you that a coworker had a great suggestion. I usually don't use the, the whole envelope because it's just a crap ton of sodium. I'm not that worried about sodium because I don't eat that much processed food. Uh, but still, he suggested just making a broth with the rest of this. And instead of putting in ramen, you put in very thinly sliced cabbage. You know, any kind of cabbage will do. It could be the fancy stuff or the regular stuff. I thought that was a great idea, and I will check in with you later on that. One minute later. All right, so it says carefully, I think it's been a minute. It says carefully transfer to a bowl. I don't know what, how carefully it will work here. We'll find out. And then add some American cheese, and I bought the bootleg version, which I'm, after I've tasted it, I'm not sure I'd recommend that. Oh, and a little bit of butter, which also kind of weirded me out, but you know, I'm pro-butter. Let's cut that down a little bit. And then uh, some, I love these, uh, black sesame seeds. I got these sort of as a hand-me-down, um, but I love them. And then some scallions, which were 98 cents for this thing. So now I have to figure out what to do with this whole package. Okay, the yolk has broken. The yolk has broken. Butter's melted. Alright. Probably should wear an apron when you eat this. Um, it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. Mm. 
So the be back with.